Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Gen Y adjustable two-ball mount with the pin lock has a 9-inch drop or rise, and it's for a 3-inch hitch. has a 32,000-pound gross towing weight capacity. Now, this is an adjustable ball mount. It'll still let you hook up your trailer to your tow vehicle. The shank right here is what will slide into your 3-inch hitch receiver on your vehicle. And then up front here, you have either a 2 and 5 16 diameter ball or a 2-inch diameter ball, which will provide the connection points for your trailer mm -hmm. coupler. If you notice on this one, it also includes this pintle lock accessory. When this is paired with the larger 2 and 5 16 ball, it'll provide a connection point for a lunette ring coupler. And just to demonstrate what happens on a lunette ring, on some of your large trailers, they'll have a large ring on the front, and it's a lunette ring. It's designed to drop over the ball. So what you'll do is pop open, take off this pinning clip, push the pintle lock back out of the way, and then you'll make your connection to your lunette ring. So you'll drop your lunette ring over the ball, and to keep it attached to the ball so it doesn't unhook, that's where you slide this pintle lock up over that, and then your lunette ring will stay underneath there and then you'll secure it in place with the pin and the clip and that'll hold that lunette ring in place. <clears throat> if you're not going to use it with a lunette ring coupler, you can actually just slide this back out of the way and there's a second pin that you can slide that through and it'll hold it in the closed position if you're not using it. <clears throat> now if you notice on this, it has four stacked two and a half inch receiver openings. It'll accept the included ball mount and pintle lock as well as other hitch mounted accessories. It does have the two three quarter inch diameter stainless steel pins and clips and that's to secure the ball mount to the shank and the pintle lock to the shank. And what's nice is on the clips, they use a twist lock design, which I really like. Makes it very easy to remove and install your clips. All you do is twist it and as you twist the clip, it'll just pop right out just like that and you do the same on the bottom, just like that. And then you can remove your pins. You can remove your pintle lock if you want. What I want to do is just show you how we're going to remove this one for the ball mount. And this has got a 2 and 5 16 up now. If you want to flip it over to the 2 inch, all you have to do is slide this ball mount out, rotate it just like that, and slide it right back into place. Now I'm putting it back in the same hole, but you have this whole range that you can put the ball mount up or down. <clears throat> the adjustable height will let you tow trailers of different heights with the same vehicle. Works well if you have a lifted truck. So as I mentioned, you can move this ball mount higher or lower to match your application. If you put it in the lowest position, it'll get you a maximum drop of nine inches. If you install the shank, uh, reverse it into the rise position and then put this ball mount in the highest point. It'll get you a maximum rise of nine inches. So we're just going to slip the two inch application back in place, put the pin through there. And again, with this push clip, you just push it and it'll twist right onto place. You don't have to force it. Just like that, you're all ready to go. Now this is a nice heavy duty steel construction. They do use a nice zinc primer and then they coat it with a durable silver vein epoxy powder coat to resist corrosion. Now when you do install this into your three inch hitch receiver, it will require a hitch pin and clip or a hitch lock for securing it to your hitch receiver. Those items we do sell separately on our website. They do offer two hitch pin hole diameters. The smaller one is a 5 8 inch, the large one is a 3 quarter inch diameter. This is SAE J684 certified. It is made in the USA. Again, the application, this will fit a three inch by three inch trailer hitch receiver opening. Now the weight capacities will just depend on the ball size you use. So if you use the smallest two inch ball diameter, you'll have a gross towing weight capacity of 16,000 pounds, maximum tongue weight of 1,500 pounds. If you flip it over and use the larger two and five sixteenths diameter ball, you'll have a gross towing weight capacity of 32,000 pounds, maximum tongue weight of 3,500 pounds. Now this ball mount does have many different dimensions, so what I do recommend for you to do is go to the product page of this part number and you will list all that we have a picture of all this part with all the dimensions on it, so it'll let you verify any dimensions that you may be needed for your application. But that should do it for the review on this Gen Y adjustable two ball mount with the pintle lock has a 9-inch drop or rise, and it's for a 3-inch hitch.